So what we can do in all reality is just go ahead and hit this last one. And once we hit this last one, the rest of the circles don't really matter. I'm going to be sharing with you the easiest strategy to get a win in Warzone Pacific and maybe even get some crazy kills along the way. If you enjoy and find this valuable, make sure to drop the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to never miss another video. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hop on in. Here it is. All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be showing you guys the best tactic to uh to win i mean it, it's the easiest strategy to win in my personal opinion uh it's actually pretty hard to lose when you do this strategy as long as you play it correctly and you don't mess things up and as you can see off rip i've marked a recon okay we're gonna be seeing if this strategy still works uh at least for you guys for me this is the easiest strategy and i think for you guys if you do it correctly and you stay on top of it, you're gonna be a-okay. So we're gonna hop on over here and we're gonna grab this right. What the god dang? Why would you even do that? How does that even make any sense? I'm gonna just, honestly. You can't, what in the? All right, um, it's fine, it's fine. We can pretend like that isn't stuck inside of something. Weird spawn place. We won't talk about it. It's uh, it's actually fine. We're going to keep going. That guy went inside the building. We're just dodging. We're dodging. Everything's fine. Heading over. Not a bad pilot, I'd like to say, ladies and gentlemen. Not a bad pilot. I used to be not that great, but now we're not that bad. All right? Not that bad. We're going to grab this. Got plenty going on in here. I think there's a, uh, a little song song inside the building. So let's head up here. Basically, what we're going to be doing is the recon strategy. Now, what you're used to is me dropping a ton of kills. And that's usually the gameplay that you see. But in this video, we're not focused on the class. We're not focused on anything like that. We're focused on how you can succeed in Warzone. Go ahead, get on up. Thanks for the free kill, big dog. So you can't punch down enemies now, just so you know, before you start trying to screw that one up too, uh, because that guy just messed it up big time. He, he just really screwed that one up. Big time. Big time messed it up. All right, we're gonna grab our little vehicle here. So we know that it's gonna be somewhere over here. Now let's go ahead and move on to something else. I think we're gonna just head over here. It's not gonna hurt you to go outside. The biggest thing is you wanna grab a helicopter off rip. That's the big thing. You grab that helicopter off rip, it's gonna be hard to mess this up. Cause you, all you have to do is just push straight to whatever you're going for, you know? Once you push straight there, you grab it. That was loud. You immediately do it, which is the recons by the way. And you start knowing exactly where the circle's gonna go. Obviously, you can see that it's going to docks right here, which is A-OK, -okay. kind of expected based on the circle that we have. But the beauty about this is that you have seven minutes before the first loadout comes in. And you're not, you know, like, let's be honest, you don't really care about anything until your first loadout comes in. All right, you don't. You don't care about anything. So why on earth would you not just do a recon strategy, figure out where everything's gonna go and position yourself accordingly? That is the easiest way that you can dominate. And I'll obviously show you that in this gameplay. This poor guy just had no idea what was gonna happen there. I don't know how. He probably should have expected that to be quite honest. I don't know what happened to him. There's some people up top. We're just gonna stay calm here. There's a guy right there. We're good. We're vibing. Oh, no. Who shot at me? Let's just get this done real quick. We're just vibing out. It's fine. Not a big deal. We don't really care too much about kills. So the big thing right now is just trying to make sure that we get what we need done done you know 
We have a helicopter. Literally, I'm telling you, just dodging these guys is going to be your best bet. Staying low. We do have a helicopter on our tail. I don't think there's any more recons. They've really silently nerfed these recons by removing as many as they possibly could. Because it seems like there's really just not that many. We could grab that recon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a fresh helicopter because we don't want to end up in a situation where we lose the chopper. Okay, we want to get as many of these recons done as possible before we lose the chopper. We've got a minute left. Also, if you're on mouse and keyboard, it's much easier to A, toss the chopper, like, and then, like, switch seats in the chopper and let it fall. Or, or, alternatively, only hold the button that brings you down as long as you previously held the button that brings you forward, and that's going to make it to where you go faster down, you know? And we got this guy right here that thinks he's absolutely disgusting at the game. So we're going to steer clear of that guy. My goal is to make it to this next recon. Hopefully before the loadout drops. And I think we'll be fine to do that. Because we're going about 100 meters every like 5 seconds. 3, 4, 5. Yeah, it's about 100 meters every 5 seconds. That's what we're looking at right now. So we should be A-OK -okay to get over here. Now what we could have done is these Christmas trees to get a ton of money. And then we could get our second loadout and stuff like that. But doing this, we're also going to be stacking up a ton of money. Uh-oh. Oh! So we just head right over here. Just going to keep going. All right, we just need to get right over here because if we don't, the loadout's going to land. It is going to land no matter what in the circle, which means I could be in a bit of a pickle. It's fine. It's fine. We're going to bring this down. Everything's good. What? I don't appreciate that. These guys are trying to get freaky on me. I don't even want kills. It does not matter to me if I get kills. That doesn't matter. So I think on the Uncut channel for a little bit, we're going to be testing out a lot of... Um, a lot of tricks that shouldn't necessarily work, but do. Things that I would normally tell you to not do. But if you do it, it's not going to put you in the worst situation. I think a lot of the time, what I like to say is that it's best to basically push everything to learn your guns. But once you've got that gun skill, are you playing for wins? You know, is that is that your next objective is getting as many wins as possible? Because I know a lot of people just really love to play for those wins. In fact, there's a lot of content creators who have, in fact, made careers off of only playing for the win, you know? We're going to grab that, but I'm also just going to hit the road. I think the big thing is just going ahead and grabbing a recon right here. You should be able to just... Yep. Right there. Did you just grab my recon dog? No, he didn't. I think it's so very odd that we just keep finding people without trying, dude. People are so weird. And he just... Like, how did you not know that there was a helicopter behind you? Like, I don't, I don't know how you got away with that. Wait, Krampus. Krampus. Dog, 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 dog. Chill, chill, chill. I'm not your target. Leave me alone. I don't think Krampus is going to come after us. We should be okay. We're going to get 3,800 for this. So we're starting to figure out where we're going to end up. And it's right beside Docks and right beside Arsenal. Now remember, the more of these that we get done, I'm just staying away. I'm just marking where they're at so that I can steer clear. The more of these that we get done, hold on. Ah! The more of an idea of where the circle's going to go that we have. We should be able to just head over here. Hey, okay. And we've still got six kills just vibing out with this chopper. It's not even been like anything crazy. Now, once we get this, and we figure out where we need to go. What I would recommend is going ahead and going toward that area, but getting high ground. I 
I don't even know how I keep finding these guys, to be quite honest. I bet he's got an assault rifle. 10 out of 10 chance, right? And it's his class? No, it is not. Okay, we're better off with this. Muni box would be good because we are just going to be vibing out over there. So what we can do in all reality is just go ahead and hit this last one. And once we hit this last one, the rest of the circles don't really matter. Honestly, they, they're just not going to matter as much. So let's go ahead and push this and get it done. And I want you guys to know this video is coming out now before it comes out on the main channel. We're gonna get something similar going for the main channel, but I think really just providing content across the board for as many people as possible is gonna be absolutely massive. So I'm kind of just looking around as I go. I like to just spin around, like run really quickly around it. That way I don't end up in a situation where someone's just staring me down and like is just beaming me because the more that I move, the, the more I know that people are gonna have a hard time shooting me. And I know you might be wondering why are you constantly like switching weapons? It's just a habit, dude. It's just constantly being ready to switch. And you just like want to sit there and tap it over and over because your hands just get like stiff if they sit in the same spot, which is why I just sit there and tap this button over and over and over. We're gonna grab our last one and then we're gonna grab a uh what are we thinking i guess we're kind of gonna stick with this swag class here which is fine now we got a lot of people over here and none of them luckily are on uav and i think the best play right now is to to fight it honestly and we know that there's a guy right there i think i'm gonna push straight to him He's no longer showing up is the thing. None the wiser either. From what I understand, there's just a... Ooh, you see that? There's a guy right here. Am I in the ground? So we're in a bit of a pickle. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take this high ground. They still have another UAV. Hear me out. He had no idea it was going to happen. You're not getting it, brother. I'm sorry. We're looking for the guy in the sky. Ooh, you see that? I got sniped. Absolutely destroyed. There's a guy over there as well. Hmm, it is a sniper. There's really no way for me to fight him. So I'm going to kind of just vibe out. We are not going to get over anxious or anything like that. We're just going to vibe out in here. That's interesting that he just chills there. I swear to God, I closed that door. That's going to be our boy. Oh, he, he almost got me too. That's the thing. He almost got me. All right. I think this automaton might do it for us. We should be vibing out here. All right. That guy's in his truck, which means I can kind of chill for a second. If I see it pop up. Oh, he's out of it. God dang it. Can I jump on that? We also have enough for a UAV.
Jeez, a loo. Yeah, we, I, I don't know, man. This is just not the best. I'm going to go back for my SDG, honestly. I don't think we vibe with that. I mean, it kills fast. I'll give it that. It, it kills insanely fast, but I don't know. Uh, it's just so accurate is the thing. Uh, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it. There's definitely a guy over there, but we're good. So we're just chilling. Looks like that truck did disappear at the end of the day. So I think we can just wait for this guy. We do have a self revive, so it's not too bad to like vibe around this edge. It's not a great idea. Don't get me wrong, but it's not the worst thing we could do is my point i'm like trying to like look over it like i actually could okay he should be moving see him right there Got him. Nice. That just took like forever though. But we've got 15 grand now, which is great. Okay. Now that we're at the end of the game. <gasps> okay. He's downed. Interesting. Nice. We are good. We're good. We're just staying calm. Everything's fine. That guy got wrecked. I think the big thing now is that I do need a self revive. This automaton's not bad. We we literally just by sitting at the last circle have gotten a ton of kills. I mean, literally just by sitting at the last circle. I didn't think that this is what was going to happen when I did this. I want you guys to know. That is not what I thought was going to happen. I thought it would just be over really quickly. And we just sit out here and just camp for like eternity but in fact that is not what happened hold on just a second does he pull a shoot okay so here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go ahead and push this way i'm gonna chuck this muni there's a ton of cash over here hold on I gotta play cash just because I know that I'm gonna need it. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV active. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy UAV active. I can't tell if he's on the roof. That was the guy from earlier. We got guys over there. We actually know that we have circles, so we can just chill here. 
We know for a fact we have circle, which is great for us. And we can just wait for this uh, this UAV here. So it's literally like, this is what I'm saying. When you have positioning in a map like this, this is something that I've been preaching since the beginning of Caldera. When you have the best position, what is this? Oh my God, there's so much going on in this building. When you have the best position, you end up in a, a gray spot. Like, I don't... I don't mean like gray spot, but like... I feel like you guys know what I mean. Oh, that's perfect. I don't mean like spot spot, you know what I'm saying? I mean like, you end up... You have good opportunities, you know? Does that make more sense? We're just kind of waiting for this guy at this point. There's five players. We know that one's in the sky and the rest are on the ground. What the god dang? This helicopter is getting weird, dude. Now, I don't know where the last few circles are. Okay, I don't. Plain and simple. So that's where things get a little sticky is that we don't know how to fight if we don't know where the last circle is. So sadly, there weren't a ton of recons out that could have helped us with that, which is fine. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm gonna mark that. Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. The guy got back in the truck, which is okay. It's four players remaining, let's go ahead and pop. It's kind of what I figured, everyone's ghosted. This guy right here is gonna be a pain in our rear. Honestly, just nervous. This guy's going to try and chuck the car at, or the helicopter at us. That's like my only thing right here. Interesting. I'm hoping it comes to us, to be honest. That's not bad. He jumped out of the car. I think he might have a sniper rifle as the thing. I think he does. I'd be smart on him. He might just be plating up, getting ready to come over. That is a guy. I knew it, bro. I don't know what happened there, but... All right, that guy's going to peek it in just a second. What we're actually going to do is just go ahead and take high ground here. That's the play, 100%. I wonder... Interesting. This guy almost played us here.
This guy's only ahead is the issue. He's invisible. And we win. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's why you do the recon strats, because positioning is everything. If you enjoyed it, if you found this valuable, make sure to drop the video, like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to never miss another video. Let's get it, baby.